Welcome to Training Tuesday for December 12th, 2023. I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary. Happy birthday to my dad, Don Trini. This week, I'm training my two female Savu pythons. This is my adult. Her name is Mariner. She's six or seven years old. She's very new to target training, and I just waited for her to turn her head slightly towards the target, and I immediately reinforced her for that acknowledgement. She's doing really well and she really climbs a lot at night. During the day, I don't see her much. She's usually in a hide, but at night she comes out and she's very active. I'm pleased with how she's doing. I do notice overall that my female Savu pythons are just bolder and more calm than my males. Now, next we're gonna look at my baby Savu python. She is only 16 weeks old. She came from Ricky Lockett in Texas. And she was waiting and eager to eat up on her shelf and partially on her PVC perch. So as I'm noticing with the, this species, they do tend to hide during the day underneath soil or, or deep in the dirt if it's available, and if not, in a hide. But at night, they are coming out and they are active and they are climbing. So she's in a little 10-gallon tank with a sliding top that locks into place and I have two screens on it and then I have lights on top of it so all of that has to be taken off for me to get to her and the target was just to the left of the frame and she acknowledged it really well and I reinforced her for that and then she ate just as you see her here hanging off of her perch and when we were finished I had to put everything back on so I put the main screen back on the secondary screen I put the lights back on and then I locked everything into place with the security pin. I really don't like these top opening enclosures for training purposes and the snakes have to get used to all this activity above them. However, I really like them for security purposes when I am raising a tiny little snake like this one. I mean, at 16 weeks old, a Sabu Python baby is very, very tiny. I'm talking like pencil tiny and I don't want her getting lost. So for security purposes, I have her in this sliding top, lockable <laughs> 10 gallon tank for now. I really prefer front opening enclosures for training purposes and habituation and other activities. So here she is eating and she's not bothered at all by my presence, by the camera, by the light being on. This room is pitch black if I don't turn a light on when I'm in there training the snakes. So this is the adult Savu Python waiting for seconds. She's getting two repetitions during this training session. The baby only got one. The baby was eating a fuzzy mouse and Mariner is eating two adult mice. This is her second adult mouse. So I was trying to give you a view from inside the enclosure, and in retrospect, I should have set the camera to the left of the log, not to the right of the log. I'll remember that next time. But she was in her hide, partially sticking out, and when I was getting everything ready, getting the target, getting the tongs, getting the food, she sort of retreated back into her hide. But then when I came back and I showed her the target to the left, she came out of the hide and you'll see her face pop up over her water dish here and turn towards her right, which is where I had the target. And as soon as she did that, I delivered her reinforcement, which is an adult mouse. And she took that right away and then she flopped into her water dish, which is exactly where she ate. So these snakes don't seem to mind the water at all. It makes sense because they are native to a very tiny island and I'm sure they encounter water a lot. So thank you everybody for joining me this week. Please remember to always be kind and love your animals.